Praise the Lord. Thank you, Karen. Our, our message today comes, from us, comes to us from the Psalms. One of my favorite Psalms we have heard it earlier, was read for your hearing, Psalms 91, verses 1 to 6, uh, and verses 14 to 16. And so I'd just like to lift up, just like to lift up verse 15 from the New International Version of the Bible for you. They that call upon me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them with long life. I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Beloved, they that call upon me. The Lord is speaking to us. I will answer them. I will be with them in times of trouble. I will deliver them and honor them with long life. Will I satisfy them and show them my salvation? The word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. A guaranteed answer in times of trouble. Where can we go? <laughs> Where? Where can we go during a time of trouble? And be sure to receive a guaranteed answer. Let us look to the Lord. O thou in whose presence my soul does take delight. In times of affliction I call my comfort by day and my joy in the night, my hope, my salvation, my all. Merciful Lord, I come before you this weak vessel of clay. Lord, I ask that you would fill me up. Take me deep down in your treasures and lead me there. O oh, kind God, I pray that you would bring forth your preacher with all power and with all might. Bring forth a word of healing, a word of encouragement, a word of love. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord. You are my rock and my redeemer. And the people of God do say amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. A guaranteed answer in a time of trouble. For the past few years, we, the human race, have been in a season of trouble. Oh, we have tried to the best of our ability to respond to the trouble we have encountered. What kind of trouble have we all been in? <laughs> well, we've all been experiencing natural disasters. They've been coming right and left, boom, 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 one right after the other. They've been severe. There have been hurricanes and tornadoes. There's been all kinds of fires. There have been tsunamis. Oh, my goodness. There have been storms. I mean, there's been snow, the buckets and truckloads of snow and ice in places they never had it before. Natural disasters we've all been experiencing. Trouble on a global scale. I mean trouble. Dare we say that should we forget, I don't think anyone can forget the troubles we've encountered as a result of the virus. How this virus has uncovered for all of humanity our sins. How we have neglected each other. How we have failed to ensure that one another is provided for and can afford health care, good health care, and a decent place to live. We're not talking mansions. We're talking about a nice place to live, you know, where the rain doesn't come through the roof. 
oh, we have failed each other. When there are so many of us that get up and work every day, a full-time job, and yet they don't have a living wage. We have failed each other when we have failed to protect our children, when we have failed to keep our promise to them to keep them safe, to give them a good education so that they can become all that God has created them to be. Yes, our world has been in a season of trouble. I mean, just this week, I don't know about you, but I had a stack of papers at home. <laughs> but it seems like in the newspaper and on the television, there's just another issue coming our way. Did you hear about it? It's called the global, the threat of a global recession. They tell me that the stock market plummet took a deep, you know, oh, those that have 401ks or a little bit of this, a little bit of that, worried. Interest rate is increasing. It's not double digits yet, but it's getting high. All of us have experienced going into the grocery store and the prices are outrageous. And what we receive is shrinking. Global, global trouble. You know, not only do we all experience the global troubles of the world, but each of us have our own individual troubles, sometimes more than one. Whether it's sickness, whether it's depression or grief or loneliness, whether it's the challenges of broken relationships or looking for a job, we all are experiencing trouble. But we ask ourselves the question, sometimes in the beginning of the morning when we're trying to get out of bed, or maybe it's in the evening when the house is quiet. Where, where can I go for an answer, a sure enough answer to the troubles I face? I need a solution. In this text, the Bible reminds us reminds us those who know God and those who don't. The only place you can receive a guaranteed answer to whatever trouble you are facing is in God. Communicating with the Lord, talking to him, crying out to him, to him. He will answer you. He will provide for you. Do you ever desire a place to hide? Have you ever wanted to just run away? <laughs> run away. God says, you can come to me. You can abide in me. I will be your shelter. Those who trust him can receive relief. Those who trust him can receive peace. So in the text, it tells us that God will take care of us. Truly, he is caring for us each and every day. Truly, we as a people, as a world, can say, we've experienced pestilence. We've experienced diseases. And God is taking care of us. Maybe not the way we want to be taken care of. An immediate cure, do away with, done with that. But he calls us to trust him, to walk with him, to abide in him. When we have the need, the desire to hide, we can call out his name. And he will swoop down and draw us ever so close to him. Can you feel the love of the Lord? He is promised 
that he would be with us in times of trouble. So you say, I need some, I need a quote. <laughs> I need a verse to hang my hat on. Has he really promised to be with us in a time of trouble? Psalms 9, chapter 9, verse 9 and 10 say to us, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in a time of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Paul reminds us when he spoke to the church of Philippi, chapter 4, verse 19, he says, my God will meet all of your needs according to his riches and glory. There is nothing in a time of trouble that God won't provide for us. He will meet our needs if we seek him out. Psalms 32, verse 7 and 8 remind us, You are my hiding place. You will protect. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way in which you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. When we go to God in prayer, when we're talking to him and asking for a solution, let us listen to him as he gives us direction and let us follow it. In following it, we will receive peace. In following it, we will have joy. We will be filled with love. This morning, did you come into the church with all these troubles, feeling a little anxious, a little stressed? The Bible reminds us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Where can we go for an answer? Who cares whether we're stressed out or not? The Lord, 1 Peter 5 and 7, remind us to cast our anxieties, our fears upon him, because truly he does care for us. Yes, dear hearts, in this text, we are reminded, as disciples of Jesus Christ, he knows us and we know his name. There is power in the name of the Lord. Demons tremble. The earth quakes. Sometimes you don't know what to do, but if you call on Jesus, it changes the atmosphere. So in times of trouble, we can rest in the Lord. In a time of trouble, we know we have victory in God. In a time of trouble, we understand that he is with us and will never leave us or forsake us. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 reminds us, Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord. Psalms 56 and verse 3 remind us, When I am afraid, put your trust in God, not people, not riches, not material things, in the living God. He will never disappoint you. He will never leave you. He will always make a way for you. This day, even though the world has so many challenges, even though we collectively are going through many troubles, even though in our lives there is an issue that is causing us some angst, we can receive an answer. We can receive peace, comfort. We can grab a hold of joy and experience love when we abide in God and seek him out and trust in him. This day, the redeemed of the Lord, you and I, we know where to go for a sure enough answer. We can go to the Lord and he will make a way for us. 
as a song we sang a little while ago, where would we be? Where would you be if it had not been for God? I dare say we would not be in a good place, but for the grace and mercy of God in sending forth Jesus Christ, we are able to be here today. We are able to love and share and to help each other, all because we know where to go during times of trouble. Let us run into the presence of the Lord. Amen.